Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be tackling the disgusting interior that is the Project Mini. It's no longer a project, so if you want to see the finished article, head on over to the other channel and check that out. But today, all focus is on interior cleaning. And to even start cleaning, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is get the car cleared out of all the junk and rubbish that's been built up in it over the course of the project. Once I get everything cleared out of the car, I like to give the car a quick vac just to sweep up any big chunks and loose bits of dust and grime and muck that's accrued over the time that the car's been sitting still or been moved about the breakers yard that it was getting rolled about in. Once I've done that initial vacuum, I can start thinking about getting in and around all the little nooks and crannies with my detailing brush and my interior detailer. And this is the nastiness that came out of the cigarette lighter. Absolutely vile. But anyway, we move on. Essentially anything that's hard plastic or anything like that kind of material in the car is going to get treated to either the detailing brush or the scrub pad. In this instance, it's going to be the microfiber side of the scrub pad to deal with the piano black parts of the interior and then the nylon bristled side of the scrub pad. When it comes to things like the dashboard itself, any of the kind of grey interior plastics or the steering wheel. When it comes to doing the interior, what I'm using at this point is the new Garage Therapy Citrus Pre-Wash. That's right, you heard me correctly, a citrus pre-wash as an interior cleaner. Well, it does say on the bottle that it can be used, if heavily diluted, as an interior cleaner. So I've got this mixed up at 50 to 1, which makes for a very economical interior cleaner. And it's doing really well, as you'll see, as the steering wheel and everything starts to look a lot cleaner.
once I'm happy with all the interior plastics, it's then time to start moving on to the carpets. And because this car is new to me, I always like to go in with a deep clean for the first clean of the interior. So what I'm using is the Blitz Detail and All-Purpose Cleaner. I've got that in the 2 litre pump sprayer, which is going to be more than sufficient when it comes to dealing with the carpets and the seats. Once I'm happy that the interior is all nice and clean, I can tend to the parts that I've taken out of the car, such as the floor mats. These weren't actually in too bad condition, so just a quick vac, then I like to hit them with the drill brush just to knock off any of that loose contamination that might be in them, back over it with a vacuum cleaner, and then I give them the same drill brush and all-purpose cleaner wet vac treatment that the rest of the interior got. Too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. As you fade away. The very last thing to do in this is just to get the Garage Therapy Dash Serum out and give all the interior plastics a nice dressing of this product. I'm really starting to like it, not necessarily for the finish that it leaves, but I'm absolutely loving the scent that it leaves behind. Really nice aftershave type scent. So as I come into some closing shots here, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. I know this has been a quick one. If you've liked it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.